Hello, DGENs. Welcome to Degenerate Takes Golf Update. I, of course, am the Brofict one, AJ. And wow, we got some shit to talk about today as Rory McIlroy has some opinions on Live, and we will get, and the Live players playing in the championship this weekend. We'll get to that in a moment. But this is all ahead of the BMW championship after uh, Billy Horschel came out yesterday essentially and denouncing every person saying, I don't want any part of it. I don't know why you're here. You never supported us before. Blah, blah, blah. And it's a lot more of the same from Rory today. Um, <laughs> shoot. I mean, Rory going as far to say that there's a rift between him and his Ryder Cup teammates. This coming from ESPN, the AP. Um, you know, Rory's out there getting ready for the PGA, um, excuse me, the BMW PGA Championship, and he was asked more about the live golf situation and the boys playing here. And remember, if you want all live golf updates, make sure you like, share, and subscribe to the channel down below. Um, but. You know, asked about his teammates and everything like that. How you feeling about it, Rory? What you going to do? And he came out and just said they shouldn't be here. They, 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 they shouldn't be here. And that it's even gone so far to be cause a complete riff with former Ryder Cup teammates and friends and Sergio Garcia, Lee Westwood, and Ian Poulter. He continues and hammers that the TGL Monday Night Golf is going to be the answer and that the players that stayed are the players that we wanted to stay. Remember, Cam Smith was involved in that meeting with Monday Night Golf and was even told in advance of that meeting that something like this was coming around. Um, I mean, Jesus. And Rory even continuing to hammer the point home certain lads that I shake hands with and certain ones I won't. Now, don't get me wrong. Rory McIlroy, I get where he's coming from. He has been Captain PGA this entire summer and ever since Live Golf has come up there. Um, you know, with Tiger kind of being like his Hulk. You know, the big boy to come in and smash everything up and let everyone know and lay down the law. Whereas Live Golf has been Iron Man coming in with Millions and millions and millions and billions of dollars offering even Tiger at one point nine hundred eight hundred million dollars. You know, two juggernaut knots all playing golf. I look at this honestly as Captain America Civil War, brother, because that's what this is. Two people that are trying to do the same thing, put on a good golf product, butting heads and continuing to fight, and it will continue until something is resolved or there is an agreement reached, which probably will not happen. And honestly, I'm getting sick and tired a little bit of hearing this out of Rory. And I get it, bro. I get it. You are out here trying to be Captain PGA, trying to make sure everyone knows that this is the way and this is how everything should be done. And I respect you and I understand completely. But to continue to badmouth players who already qualified for an event, regardless of which company they are standing with, they still qualified, it's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. And I get it. You're supposed to say that. That's probably the speaking notes the PGA gave you, which is fine. You're their champion. You got to do what you got to do, brother. I get it. But, hey, the boys at Live Golf got to do what they got to do, too. Again, I'm tired of the hate. I know we're going to see it again next week, this weekend and then the following weekend when Live Golf comes back again. But in Chicago, excuse me. Yeah, I mean, Rory, I get it. But let's let's start figuring out something else besides whining about they shouldn't be here or whatever. Just start talking about how great the PGA is. Start talking about Monday Night Golf and how everyone should be excited for that. Start talking about the bigger purses next year. The fact that players are going to get paid whether they miss the cut or not. Start talking about the good PGA is doing and stop putting down the live. I shouldn't have to give a professional golfer PR advice, but bro, this is just getting tiring. It's getting tiring. And yes, it's going to continue to get headlines. So if you want to be con continue to be a part of these news outlets, clickbait, like I'm taking a part in now, go ahead, bro. But you're smarter. You're better than this. And uh, I'm tired of it. I'm tired of it, bro. Yeah. With that being said, let me know what you think of Rory's comments down below. Drop me a comment and would love to see what the DJs have to say about Rory and the whole Live Golf situation. Um, also, please remember to follow us on the Twitters to stay up to date for everything. Hit that link tree in the description down below. And if you want to support the show, please check out our merch store. We got some dope DJ merch that, you know, you'd look pretty good in for football season coming up. Um, 
And also, of course, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. We will, of course, keep you updated on all things live golf, PGA golf, and everything in between. Look for NFL and college football bets coming out this either later today or tomorrow, getting ready for week one of the NFL, week two of college. It's going to be a good one. Again, thank you so much for listening and watching. With that being said, I've been the Brofic One AJ, and we'll see you next time on Degenerate Takes.